Hello, today we'll be doing 2.4 for Geometry Chapter 2 Notes, Planar Geometry. So, let's start with some vocabulary. Intersection, when two or more shapes meet the portions they have in common, are called the intersection. So we talked about this with lines, right? That's where they intersect there. Um, we're going to be talking about planes today, so we can have plane here, and then let's test my drawing skills, another plane there, and they intersect right there. All right, so a plane is a surface, so it's a two-dimensional surface that extends infinitely in all directions. So I can draw a plane like such, and you can really draw it any which way. Uh, coplanar, if two or more points are on the same plane, even if the plane is not drawn, then the points are coplanar. So if I have my plane, and then I have A and B, those are coplanar, and then I could put C over here, and since it goes on infinitely in this direction, C could also be on this same plane. Okay. So let's take a look at this diagram. We want to make as many observations as we can. For example, how many lines are drawn, how many points, how many planes. Make as many true statements as you can. So I'm going to give you a second to try and fill some of that out on your own. See if you can come up with anything. All right. Hopefully you have written down a couple things. I'm going to just write down a couple. So it asks how many lines are drawn. I counted three lines. And then there's eight points and one plane, at least drawn. So there's probably more than the one plane, but there's one plane drawn currently. And you might have come up with some other observations like intersecting points, things like that. But we'll stop there. All right, examples one through five. Use the diagram above to answer the following questions. What is the point of intersection for lines QZ and WU? So it would probably help if we highlighted them or at least identified where they are. So QZ is here, and then we have WU here, and we want to know what their point of intersection is. So wherever they intersect, that's going to be their intersecting point. So in this case, T. Okay, what is the point of intersection for line DB and plane pi? So we have plane pi. It tells us tells us what plane it is right there in the corner. And we're taking a look at line DB, so this line right here. And we want to know what points of intersection do these lines have with the plane. Well, since all three of these li points lie on the plane, all three of these points are intersections. So D, S, and B. All right. Are the points S and D collinear? Are they coplanar? So S and D, they are definitely collinear, yes. And then they lie on the same plane as well. All right, are Q and D collinear? So let's take a look at Q and D. Here's Q and here's D. So remember we talked about two. if we only have two points that we're working with, we can always draw some sort of line through it, so yes, they are collinear. Points D and S are collinear. So D and S here are collinear. Name another point that is also collinear with DS. So I'm going to just follow this line down. It looks like B is also collinear with that line, with those points. Okay, let's take a look at example six draw two lines that do not intersect. So I'm going to give you a second and try drawing two lines that don't intersect. All right, so I came up with these lines. And these lines are parallel lines, right? Parallel lines. They will never touch one another. OK, example seven, Peter drew a diagram that with three coplanar lines that intersected at one point. He then concluded that three coplanar lines will always intersect at one point. Peter's statement is not always true. 
draw two diagrams, each with three coplanar lines, that show specific examples that show how the statement is not always true. This is called a counterexample. So I'm going to give you a second to see if you can come up with an example, then I'll show you mine. All right, so I ended up with, we have a set of parallel lines and then a line that goes through it there. We could also do three parallel lines that don't intersect whatsoever, but they all are on the same plane. Okay, consider the diagram shown. Make at least four true statements about this diagram. So I'm going to give you a second to see what kind of statements that you can come up with that will be true. Alright, so I came up with, there were six different planes. And I counted eight points. There's 15 lines. So those 15 lines also included this triangle right in the center. And we created a box. So the shape is a box in and of itself. You probably come up with other things like things that are intersecting, parallel lines, perpendicular lines, and so on. Um, and there's lots of different things we can choose from. Okay, so using the diagram above, we want to answer these questions. So name the intersection uh, for planes EHG and CGF. So especially with planes, I would suggest highlighting or going over the planes that you're working with. So EHG, that is down here, so that's this plane. Even though it doesn't say F, that's that entire plane down there. And then CGF, so CGF, that's this plane right here. And we want to know where they intersect. Well, they're going to intersect right here. So that's where those two planes intersect. So I'm going to put GF, or you could put FG, that's fine too. Alright, so points A, B, and C are on the same plane. Name another point that is coplanar with A, B, C. So A, B, C is up here. A, B, C is up here. It looks like D, if I complete that square right, D is also on the same plane. Okay, name is intersection for G, D, C, and E, D, H. So GDC, GDC, that's this plane right here. And then we also have EDH, which is right here. So I want to know where these two planes intersect. Well, they're going to intersect right here. So we're going to write DH, because that's where these two planes intersect one another. Alright, I want you guys to try or take a look at number 11 and see what you come up with. So name the intersection for planes ABC and EGH. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and highlight these planes. So we have ABC, so up here, and then EGH. So these don't have an intersecting um, or an intersection at all. As you can see, one's on the very top of our box and the other one's at the very bottom of our box. So they are never going to touch. So there is none for this. So if you did this one and you're like, well, there's, they don't intersect, well, then that would be correct. They do not have any sort of intersection. All right. Parallel lines. Two lines are parallel parallel if and only if they never touch. They also have to be on the same plane. Actually, they do not. Sorry, I was thinking of a 2D and we're working with 3D. 
so we have a parallel line here and there. We can also use another one here and here. So inside that box, we have a bunch of different parallel lines we can work with. All right, two lines are perpendicular if and only if they create a right angle. So I can take HG here and then DH there. They create a perpendicular because they create that right angle there. We can do other ones. We can do AB, BF. We have a right angle there. So we can create a bunch of different right angles within this here. All right, skew lines. So skew lines are two lines or skew if and only if they do not intersect and are not parallel. So I can take AD right here and then we have CG over here. So they do not they do not intersect, they're on two different planes. If I kept drawing this line over, it would look like they intersect, but it is a 3D object, so they don't really actually intersect. But we have one line that's a little forward and it's going left and right, and we have one line that's a little more backwards, it's going up or down. So they're definitely not parallel, but they also do not intersect. With one another. Okay, so we want to decide if these lines appear to be parallel, perpendicular, or skew. So I'm going to give you a second to try these out on your own. And then we go through them. Alright, so once again, I'm going to highlight the line so that we can see where they are and we can decide. So we have AE and GF. So these are definitely skew few lines. They're not parallel, but they also do not intersect with one another. Alright, BF and CG. So we have BF over here, CG over here. Oh, those lines definitely look parallel. They definitely do not intersect with one another, so it's either going to be skew or parallel. They are on the same plane, so therefore they are parallel with one another. So FC and EF or FG, sorry, FG and EF. So these ones do intersect and they create that right angle there at F, so these ones are perpendicular. All right, example 13, decide if each statement below is sometimes, always, or never true. So once again, I'm gonna give you a second to read through these and kind of decide what they are. Alright, so if two lines do not intersect, then they are parallel. Well, if we look back at the definition of a skew line, they don't intersect and they're not parallel. So this is sometimes true. Sometimes they'll be parallel. Alright, if two lines intersect to form right angles, then they are perpendicular. That will always be true. And then if two lines are skew, they are coplanar. So if the two lines are skew, that means they're not on the same plane because they won't intersect with one another. So this will be never true. All right, and there's the end of 2.4. If you have any further questions, please feel free to write back. So video as much as you like and ask for teacher questions. Have a great day.